Hello, my name is Amanda Swinson. I am the Alcona FFA Chapter Sheet Project Coordinator and also the Alcona AgriScience Shared the World Project Manager. On January 12, 2012, three Alcona FFA members traveled to Magic Sheep Farm to learn more about their operation and the sheep industry. In this tutorial, we will have interviews with Tim and Isaac Matchett. We hope you enjoy this tutorial. Okay, we have um, Tim Matchett here and Isaac Matchett. Um, Tim, can you tell us a little bit about the history about the Matchett Farm here? Yep. Um, this farm was purchased by my, my grandfather, um, 1908 in that area. Um, we need to look up to date for sure. For And then the log cabin that was behind us was the original log cabin that was built on the other property in 1866. This was originally built in 1866. The logs are the same. It was moved to this property because that was going to be sold out of the family and, uh, and they didn't want it. <laughs> the new owners were going to tear it down or whatever so my grandfather took it down log by log and with help and, and moved it down here and put it back up so we just moved to have it for at that time for a farm building. They raised livestock in it and what have you. Uh, my dad was born in 1922, uh, took the farm over in like 1944 in that area, uh, 43, and um, they kept the dairy for a short period of time in turkeys and then got rid of the dairy cows and went to all turkeys. In 1948, they decided to try a few sheep. So um, the sheep have been here since 1948. Started out with five ewes and then had sheep and turkeys until 1969. Mostly just the sheep since then. And we always ran 120 ewes thereabouts for quite a few years after that and sold them all direct to the local stores. So we were able to receive a lot more profit per lamb. Um, and then t changing times and changing markets and slaughter plants and what have you. That kind of phased out and we've gone to um, more numbers and selling more commercially. So, And Isaac was born in 87 actually and has been here all his life and um, has worked into it gradually over time. And so now it's the two of us. So. Can you tell us a little bit about your sheep operation you've got here? Uh, yeah, I'd be happy to. Um, I'm 24 now. I graduated from Michigan State, an ag tech program in 2007. Um, I wanted to come back to the farm. That's what I'd wanted to do my whole life. Uh, I was the fourth generation to decide to farm here. And um, we, we, current, we had raised sheep then, and uh, that's what I wanted to continue to grow and to do. So. We expanded the farm to support multiple family incomes, and uh, when I when I came back to the farm, we lambed about 120 ewes that first year, and uh, we raised hay for them. We didn't raise any grain at that point, and since then we've grown to to uh, we should lamb a little over 500 ewes this spring. Um, we raise all the hay and a good portion of the grain that goes into uh, feeding the ewes and the lambs, and. Um, so that 500 ewes should produce uh, between 800 and 1,000 lambs for us. At Matchett Sheep Farm, uh, we have the lambs born. We, pat we use a pasture lambing system. Uh, the ewes actually have the lambs out in the pastures in late May, early June by themselves. Uh, we're there to help with anything that may need help, but um, we kind of let them do their, their work and let their natural instincts and capabilities work for us. Um, once the lambs are born, they're raised with their mothers. Over the summer, they graze on the on the land that we farm here. And uh, in about 60 days, the lambs will be weaned. Typically, then they're brought in to the barnyard here, around the around the barns where we can feed them grain. Uh, there's two ways to to sell lambs. Typically, you sell them as either feeder lambs or finished lambs. Uh, we choose to sell finished lambs uh, as opposed to feeder lambs because. Once you get them to that 60 day, that weaning point, uh, you've kind of sustained most of your losses. You know, the toughest time to get lambs going is when they're, when they're young and when they're being born. Uh, once they're 60 days of age, they're up and running and pretty independent and ready to go. So uh, at that point, we've got, uh, our area lends itself well to, to acres for grazing and uh, acres to, to rent to, to raise drain on. So we. We raise the feed and we, we uh, feed it to the lambs and we, we make a finished lamb which, um, you know, when they go into the feedlot they probably average about 60 pounds 
Um, and when they when they come out, when they're done, we consider them to be usually around 130 pounds. And we do sell ewe lambs as breeding stock. Uh, we're fairly selective as to what what type of genetics we're will, willing to sell. Uh, if it's not something that we're confident will perform well for somebody, we won't we, we keep it as a market lamb, as a meat lamb. We won't sell it as a as a breeding as a breeding animal.